Catonsville, the UMBC softball team is getting ready for a trip out west. The Retrievers leave for the NCAA tournament tomorrow after winning another conference championship. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner caught up with the team today at practice. One, two, three, yes. four, five, seven. Uh -huh. They are back-to-back -back champs with quite the break in between. Someone said 700 something days since the last NCAA tournament. So yeah, it has been feel like forever. The UMBC softball team capturing its second straight America East Conference Championship on Saturday, sweeping Stony Brook and clinching an automatic NCAA tournament bid. After winning in 2019 and a 2020 with no postseason because of COVID, the Retrievers lifting that trophy once again. You know, to be able to defend our championship, even though it's been two years apart, has been, you know, something very special. Leading the way is Courtney Coppersmith. The junior pitcher is fourth in the nation with a .65 ERA and first on this jubilant team in loving life. I mean, it feels amazing. I mean, of course, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you want to win, but you want to have fun. And I think that's one thing that we do well when we have fun. We typically try it. We win more. The upcoming NCAA tourney is super special for senior shortstop Maddie Danu, UMBC's captain who chose to return for another year, taking advantage of the NCAA's COVID exemption. It's great to be able to play such great players and to be challenged a little more than what we're used to. So I'm excited. And Dane, you couldn't have asked for a better road trip to take this weekend. UMBC is in the Tucson bracket of the double elimination NCAA tourney, along with Villanova, Ole Miss, and host number 11, Arizona. Dane, you grew up around Phoenix. It's the first time she'll be able to play in front of her family and friends in five years. I'm so glad that I was able to have the opportunity to come back and especially to even go back home for one of our last tournaments ever. So it's fantastic. First pitch comes Friday there. against Zona at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. In Catonsville, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.